At the start of 2024 season, we didn't expect so much change in the car design and it was pretty much clear that every team on the grid will copy the dominant Red Bull. However, Red Bull knew it, so they changed its design philosophy. There were some teams which chose different path in designing their sad pods and the teams were Alpine, Mercedes and McLaren. These cars didn't have a conventional underscoop design. The design was different and the McLaren was the team which had gone with the rare design language. Mercedes and Alpine designs were somewhere similar but couldn't able to make any difference in their performance gain. After Red Bull and Aston Martin, McLaren and Mercedes were the team who bought their first of their major upgrades. McLaren was the team which shined and Mercedes still struggled. So let's see how these upgrades have helped the McLaren to be the best car on the grid on Miami GP weekend. First let's see number of upgrades bought by McLaren. Front wing brake ducts, new suspension geometry, new floor, revised side pod design, new bodywork, engine cover, cooling louvers, rear suspension, rear brake ducts and new offloaded beam wing design. It was almost B-spec car, the same what they did last year in Austria and we saw the gain in their performance since then. In Miami GP, only Lando was given a complete upgraded car, Piastri was driving his car with less upgrades. And in upcoming Imola GP, both the drivers will be driving the upgraded machines. What do you think? How will they perform at the Imola GP? Let me know in the comment section below. All these upgrades were planned to bring McLaren closer to the front runners like Red Bull and Ferrari. And I guess team is successful in doing so. Though the still true potential is to be seen from the McLaren as Red Bull states that there was a hole in the floor of Max Verstappen's car which impacted his lap times. And he was losing lot of time due to this. Is it true? Do you guys believe it? Well, this thing could have an endless debate as we have seen the past performance of that Red Bull rocket ship which used to create huge gaps from others and in some races it was more than 20 seconds. In Miami GP, they were not able to increase the gaps to Ferrari and McLaren. We saw a minor difference in the lap times in both qualifying and in the race. The McLaren side pod design does it remind you of something? W14? Somewhat identical side pod flaps. Lot of inspiration has been taken from W14, which was not a successful car. Then why are teams taking design inspiration from it? How come Mercedes were not able to make out the most from it? And let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Now coming to McLaren. After Ferrari's upgrade in the upcoming Imola GP, true picture will come out that who is the top contender to give a tough battle to Red Bull. As per Ferrari's team principal, Fred Vasir, top three teams will have a different set of performance in different tracks. And he also says that the upgrades, we can expect more victories from Ferrari. Who knows what will happen until we hit the track. Considering McLaren's upgrade, which is somewhat like Red Bull, it resembles that the design has something special in it. That's why they are called the rocket ship. Whole upgrade package from McLaren uplifted the performance of the car and shocked everyone on the grid. The main focus of these upgrades was to gain the performance which the car was lacking and we know they have achieved it. Let's see what Red Bull bring to the table to compare to the likes of Ferrari and McLaren. So guys that's all for today. If you have liked the video then please like share and subscribe. See you all in my next video. Until then take care bye.